What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to uh, give you guys an update. The past couple weeks I have been polishing and just haven't got to work on the first gens, but I am back back at it and wanted to show you guys what we're gonna what we did to the shorty the past couple Saturdays and got about twenty two hours in, in what I've been doing, so a lot of work, but it's been well worth it. Uh, an update on the blue truck. We my anteater just came in. So that's all, you got a bill of good health and it's ready to go. So I'm going to install it here this week and I still need my drive shaft. So I'm going to get that taken care of this week as well, hopefully. And just some small things to knock out there. I'm super excited for the first drive on that, but let's get back to the shorty. Just kind of an update of what we we were doing. I have been working on a Lexan front windshield for it. And this is an optic armor, 30% tinted front Lexan windshield. Uh, the universal fit option so it says universal fit and it by no means will just lay on here and you drill the holes countersink them and put the bolts in it, like it is if it was that easy I'd only have a couple hours in it but there's a reason I have like 22 in it so I had to cut off a solid three inches along the bottom a couple inches on the sides and then at least a foot and a half off the top because it stuck up to like right here so uh, the curve of the curve of it was pretty close. Um, it wasn't exact, but it was close enough to make it work. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. But uh, I think it also looks really good. But if you guys have any questions about it, just drop them in the comments. I mean, you guys can see the purpose of the truck, so I'm sure you understand why I went with Lexan over glass. Obviously, race stuff, you try and get everything as light as possible and all that, so. You could tell, you can kind of see right, you can still see through the truck right now with how it is because none of the other glass is tinted. But once we tint everything else, it's going to be really, really dark in here probably. Um, I don't have any of my trim pieces on yet, so obviously you can see all of our hardware that bolted the windshield in. Um, once we put all of our trim and all that back in, you won't really be able to see it. You'll be able to see some along the dash, but that's it, and I can deal with that. I'll be all right. But from the ins inside, it doesn't look too dark. It looks looks pretty good. Wanted to show you guys that. And I think the hardware turned out really nice as well. Obviously, it takes some work to countersink them all perfect. Like, that one looks pretty good, if it would focus. So these are just Allen Head 8 dash 32 standard size uh, countersunk head stainless hardware. You can get them at the hardware store that's like they were 55 cents a piece. Um, so far I've used over, I think I'm, I'm over 40 or something like that and I need three more. So I'm gonna buy three more bolts, pull it back off, trim that bottom corner about a quarter inch more and it'll, it'll be completely good and then get some of the 3M windshield, uh, I don't know if you'd call it windshield sealer, windshield epoxy, windshield, I don't know what you'd call it. I know what it looks like, but it's what we used to use on windshields where I used to work. And we're just we're gonna put that on and then put the, wind, the Lexan back in and bolt it all down. So it should be watertight, should seal just fine. Um, I don't know about you guys. I do think that it kind of accents the shaved drip rail. Like a couple of guys mentioned on, I put it on my story last night. They mentioned they never even realized this truck had a shaved drip rail until I put this in. So I don't know, that might kind of highlight it a little bit more. I think it makes the whole look a lot better. It fits really nice. Um, the only advice on Lexan that I've got is just take your time because it's, it's a lot of work and you can't get frustrated and you really got one attempt, so make a really good template. Um, the guys over in the fab shop really helped me a lot with and just pointers in general of what they would do and how they would work with it. So I'm very happy with all the all the help I got and how the final product turned out. So that's that's basically just the general overview of what I've been doing. Um, that's a big check off the list. Next, I'm just going to get my door seals and put those in, and we shouldn't even I shouldn't have to put a tarp over it anymore. No water should be getting inside the cab, and I'm pretty excited for that. So. Uh, if you guys do know of good uh, seals that you've put, door seals, window seals, all that stuff, places that you've used, go ahead and drop in the comments. Obviously, I know LMC is one. Uh, I personally think that their quality has tapered off a lot since like 2010, but 
that's just my two cents. If you guys have any suggestions about who to use, please drop them below for door seals. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, look for some blue truck content come the end of the week-ish. I'm going to try and work on it all this week and make a little bit of headway. I'm going to rewire a lot of stuff and maybe cut out a lot of the unneeded stuff such as those nasty fusible links. So definitely watch out for videos. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and get out of here. I sure appreciate you guys tuning back in to see what we're up to. But until next time, we will see you later on the Old School Crew.